Hey, this video is a little bit late, but this is going to be the rehousing of some of the tarantulas I picked up at the Southeast Arachnid Show a few weeks ago. So to start off with, we have kind of a, a bonus rehousing. Uh, in this little aquarium skull lives my pumpkin patch tarantula, Haplopelma species Columbia small. And she's never leaves this or not never leaves it for long anyway so that's probably the easiest rehousing you'll ever see although I'm struggling with the lid more difficult to close the enclosure than to transfer the spider there we go and now I'm gonna set this up for my for the recently picked up green bottle blue I'm not even going to attempt the Aladdin name. I'll practice that one in private for a while, I think. I'm just going to clear out some of the junk from there while well, the webbing and I'm not sure what it looks like these coffee stirrers as temporary anchor points. Should make it a bit easier to get at the spider to rehouse, and there's a mold. Okay, so I'm just going to put some bits of twig in there so she has something to anchor to. And now we'll just try and tip this up and guide the spider gently into a new enclosure. Gently poke her along with the pink brush. And she's just about in. Two very, very easy transfers within a space of just a few minutes. Okay, and there she is. Looking forward to seeing her web this thing up. Sorry, the lighting is not great on this uh, image, but there we go. Okay, on to my Gramostola Iheringi. Not sure what the common name of this one is, and I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing the Latin name correctly either, but I think I'll put the name on the bottom of the screen so you can uh, read it. I love the way she walks, it's just adorable. <laughs> Get this uh, water dish out of the way. And let her go out for a little explore. Kind of tempted to put my hand out there. She looks so cute. I'm doing this transfer within a um, large underbed storage unit. So even if she gets out, she's well contained. How cute is this little spider? I think this is my first grandma stola as well. So it's quite exciting. I don't have any dry substrate, so I'm just going to borrow some of the substrate from her old enclosure. Okay, now I'll just try and gently um, encourage her to climb into the enclosure. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm guessing this is a hungry tarantula. Kind of glad that I didn't put my hand out there earlier. Just close this. I'm just going to see if she'll take a mealworm because she, the way she reacted to the paintbrush, I'm sure she is very hungry. Nope, gonna explore in instead. Okay, I'll try and do this outside of the enclosure. And just move. 
Oh wow, <laughs> what a takedown that was. I'm not sure if you picked that up on the camera. Um, it's not the best angle, but she just pounced on that little mealworm. Try and get some close up shots of her eating. Tended to stay away from the Gramostola genus because um, they have this reputation of being pet rocks. But this one looks like it's going to be anything but. I'm sure, we'll get some great feeding videos in the coming weeks. Okay, finally, on to my Sea Fimbriatus, the Violet Earth Tiger. Sorry, I can't remember the common name. Unfortunately, I somehow managed to lose the footage to this uh, transfer. But again, it was a really, really easy transfer. I just put the new enclosure down on its side next to the um, the case that she came in and poked her in the butt with a paintbrush and she bolted into the new enclosure straight away. So that's it for this video. If you like, please subscribe and thank you for watching.